Hello and welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafter. Now, um, one thing that we uh, that is really important and one of the major markers uh, of the game is, of course, the terraforming index. Um, the terraforming index is basically just shows you how far you are and at what stage you are. Currently, we're sitting on lakes. We're moving on to moss. We have 60, uh, 80 percent of moss, <laughs> so the planet's getting a little bit green. Now, the only way. Let me grab this one. Uh, this is uh, yeah, here. We go for the terraforming index to actually increase is for uh, the oxygen, heat, and the pressure indications indicators uh, to be rising. Now you need to have um, a combination of those rise at the same time, or at least they all have to grow. So the ratio. I'm not quite sure exactly what the ratio is, but you need to be absolutely sure that the if there is if your um, terraforming index isn't increasing, uh, then it's but you have oxygen increasing, for instance, and you probably need to increase either heat or pressure, and likewise with heat and pressure in oxygen combinations and stuff like that. So you have to be, the combination to get the MTI to go up is that you have to have all three, oxygen, heat, and pressure, uh, all increasing. So if they aren't increasing, that means that it's stagnating, and then what will happen eventually is that your MTI, or your terraforming index, or your terraforming index, basically, uh, won't increase, and you will not be able to get the more important uh, next tier technologies that we would want. So the, what we are working working towards right now, <clears throat> because we have everything that we need, we can survive on this planet quite comfortably. We have food, we have water. Uh, what we don't have, of course, is a breathable atmosphere. <laughs> and we won't be getting that until we get the um, gas extractor. The gas extractor is going to give us... Um, some uh, so some of them, the methane that we need to get to some of the more advanced biological materials and so on, but we won't have that yet until we get to 100 MPa. So the pressure at the moment is kind of stagnating; it's stuck at 6.5. It is increasing very slowly. See, as you can see, it's going back to 6 6.51. Uh, that is because we don't have enough T4 drills. Now, the T4 drill takes a lot of osmium. You don't, there isn't a lot of osmium on the planet and we won't be getting a lot more osmium until we have uh, unlocked the, um, the, the new drill, the ore extractor tier two. The, tor the ore extractor tier two can actually extract osmium from the ground, uh, but we don't have that ability yet. The uh, extractor that we have, the ore extractor, the normal one, uh, just doesn't have that capability. So we want to get as many of these um, ore extractors later on. We want to get to this ore extractor level two as quickly as possible because with the ability to craft the pulsar quartz, we require osmium. And for osmium, to get the osmium, we need a lot more pressure. So we're gonna to have to be building a lot more tier fours. So what we need is to get the, the osmium that is on the planet, still, that is on this planet. And we want to be able to actually um, use that osmium to, to build more of these tier 4 drills. Because you need as many of these tier 4 drills as possible because that's the way, the only way that you will, in a reasonable um, time frame, get your tier 2 uh, extractor. Uh, the gas extractor is important, but the tier 2 extractor is far more important. That's the that's what we're actually aiming for. Everything else is just a, um, a byproduct from which we have to get past. <laughs> Basically, that's it. All right, so the heat to tier 4 is also important. That also gives us a huge boost in heat. On the planet so as soon as we get to that that will that will be a focus on us as well for us to start building that now the grass spreader we already have that the flower spreader we already have that and the biodome tier 2 is something we also need but we don't have a use for at the moment it is good to get that because it gives you a massive boost in oxygen so if you can build it build it the trouble is it of course uh, takes uh, quite a bit of this bacterial sample and so on which we um, we need to make and the bio lab. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. So, but today we are going to be focusing our attention on the um, new mines, well, the, the mines that we can go to to get some osmium. So, we're going to go over to our new base up there in the uh, well, close to the uh, the, the gate, and uh, we will see if we can if we can if we can actually um, uh, if we can find some osmium. So, but first, I need to get some. I need to get some food with me. So we'll we'll take some of this with us, and potentially also one little packet of food, seaweed, grass, blah blah blah. Okay. Now the oh, there's a lot of food. We actually have a lot of food here. That's good. 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 Now the um, drill tier four takes six six um, of these special super alloys. So we're gonna grab a whole bunch of these, or we're gonna take as much of this as possible. 
we won't be able to make more of this uh, when we get to the new site. But we're going to go and move this material to our uh, site in the uh, by the gate. Now, there's a reason for why I'm not building it here. You don't want to have all of your equipment, all of your uh, high-level equipment and so on, particularly all the animated equipment, like those, those ore extractors and everything else, the um, uh, nuclear reactors, and uh, later on, these tier 4 drills, all basically just collected all in one spot. That's, it's, it's a, that's a really bad idea, because mainly, they take up a lot of frames, a lot of CPU power. Oh, what do we have over there? Did we get this one already? I'm kind of wondering if we got this one already. I don't think... Yeah, we did. Good. So you want to be absolutely sure that you don't... That you spread your equipment around as much as possible so you can keep your frames as high as possible. You don't want to come into one region and have uh, only like two frames per second. <laughs> because that's why you have all of your nuclear reactors collected together. So you want to spread them out a bit. Alright, that's the gate, that's where we're going to get to. We built a base, well, a preliminary base around it. Should be still, should still be there. There it is, look at that. Alright, we're going we're gonna to go and set up um, here, and then we're going to go and check out this region of the map and find some more uh, materials and stuff. Right, we'll also go down into the canyon and check around down there. See if there's anything new in there. We might also just do we have time? I, I don't know. We have so, so much to do. <laughs> Wait, are they actually working? Oh, they are. They are working. Good. So we still have enough power. So one of the things that you have to worry about all the time in this game is power. Uh, let's just put some of this stuff away. We don't need to carry this, keep it here all the time. Uh, do we have any food growing here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's, let's see if we can build a food grow. We need some aluminium and some iron. I do have some uh, iron. Well, I do have some aluminium. Bam. All right, let's go build one of these beautiful food growers. Put that somewhere in the corner. Like right there. And that will uh, allow us to grow some, some food. And bup, 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 bup. Yeah, okay, good. Let's get one of these things i don't want the eggplant uh do we have any green kind of thing uh, there we go bean seeds yes now bean seeds are specifically tailored towards growing food that's very important do we also have the water collector here i don't think we have a water collector here no we don't all uh, right so one of the things you want to have in this region is of course a way of making water we don't have that at the moment i think that if we were to build this yeah, we could do this. We could do this. Let's just build on one right here as well. We need some this, that, uh, that silicon, uh, this puppy. We need some iron and some uh, aluminium and some cobalt. So this one and uh, iron. So that's all. That's all we need. Okay, one one super alloy and one aluminium. And there. Okay, let's go grab out, get this outside and then we'll build. Oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. Put this puppy down right there. All right, now that's going to give us, start generating some water for us so we can come back here and drink if we need it. I don't think that will, there's any more ice around here. No, there isn't. Not much at least. Now let's go down here, see if we can find a, a nice Ospian mine. So the, um, the region down here is... Kind of harsh, <laughs> kind of, it's very harsh. Um, but there should be some nice mines out here. <clears throat> you just have to watch this side of the canyon a little bit. So I think that the mines down here were... Um, it's an iridium mine. Yeah, I think this is the one back here. Is it the iridium mine? Yeah, this is the iridium mine. A lot of iridium over here. That if you need some, you can grab some. We don't need some because we already have the iridium extractors, so that's perfectly fine. There should be another mine a little bit further up. Just kind of wondering if I just try to rack my brain exactly <laughs> where this mine was again. And then we'll head back and then we'll go check out the other mines in the other region. It's a little bit further up. There is the ship, the derelict ship. 
So, I'm, did we uh, extract everything from the ship? Cool, uh, cool looking ship, though. I like it. No, we did not. Let's grab that. Grab you too. We don't need it per se, but oh, here we go. Private scavenger, letter of mission, reconnaissance, and abnormal number of ships of various companies have disappeared in the interval. Blah, blah. Hmm. Find the presence of hostile life. Now there isn't any hostile life on this planet, as far as I can tell. The developers maybe they'll add some hostile life in the future. I don't know. It would be cool though. You know, some kind of uh, some kind of hostile alien life form that uh, that that is on this planet that we have to get past and so on. Yeah, a little bit dark here. What's going on? We need to use, hey, get some oxygen and we need to drink something. All right, good. I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna take you. So the the, the add the addition of a oh here we go. There's some some light. Not sure why it's so blue all of a sudden. The addition of um, another challenge, like for instance the uh, um, an alien race or alien species, would be cool. Adding a little bit more difficulty to the game. I'm not saying that we need it because the game is already pretty lengthy, and you don't necessarily need to have. Um, a, a protagonist, like a like an alien species that you have to overcome to be able to... That just makes it too cliche, I guess. Right? Because you would come... If, if it was possible to have a planet like this, and it would already be terraformed. Or there would be a species living on it. Then you're basically just terraforming the species into extinction. You're making sure that only you can survive, and uh, you can't. I mean, this... I don't think I have... I don't think there's any more ice around here. Nope, probably not. I don't think we'll have any water coming out of these... Uh, <laughs> of the land anymore. Everything is pretty much dried up. Or not dried up, per, per se, but more like melted away. I mean, it makes sense. Right, let's go check out if we missed one of these mines down here. There should be two of them, I think. And is it here? Mm, no. It's looking for a mine. I think it's over there. I think it's over there. <clears throat> I think we walked past it in the middle of the night. It was too dark to see anyway. Here we go. Ah, look, this is, you can immediately tell it's an Osprey mine because of the color blue. Now, we're going to leave the uh, sulfur here for now. So we don't need it at the moment. We're going to put you back in here as well. And we're going to leave the sulfur behind. We don't need it at the moment. We'll also leave the packets of food because we don't need that. Well, the, the, the mushroom seed, we'll take that because that's pretty important. But. So we need, um, to be able to build one of these, we need three Ospium. So we already have three now. We can at least build one. So get, let's go get six, uh, three more so we can build a second drill. Perfect. So now we're we're almost... Well, we, can, we have some space. We have some space. Let's go grab us a little bit more Ospium. Look at that. I think we can empty out the, the, the cave. Maybe. <laughs> are we full? Yeah, we are full. So if we go out this end, we should come out by our big base over there. So this is the cave that comes out here. Yes, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty wild. And this is why you should follow these, uh, the, the materials around. So as soon as they, they finish, like over there, for instance, there's nothing there. Then you know you're going in the wrong direction, but here, for instance, you can go in directly into this mine. And, uh, and gather yourself a whole bunch of osmium. Alright, excellent. So we got a whole bunch. Let's head on over back to the base, at the gate, and get started with building this tier 4, um, level 4 uh, drill. 
So he's gonna, it's going to help us a lot. Getting a lot of pressure out of the ground. Hopefully, we'll be able to move on from there to uh, more heat. As I can see that my uh, terraforming index is kind of slowing down. It's still increasing, but it's not increasing significantly. And I don't like that. I like to have as many as, as a high uh, terraforming index as possible. So we have to go. We still have a long way to go before we are uh, to the point where we can actually build the fusion cores. Um, those those come quite a lot. <laughs> it's going to take a, quite a long time to get that. So the the beginning of the game is pretty simple. You build a bunch of machines and stuff, and your MTI will just go. Your terraforming will it will jump up through the sky, basically just explode but as you progress to the higher tiers and so on the MTIs or your terraforming will start to slow down because it's impossible to build a ton of these tier 4 drills you don't have the osmium yet but you need that pressure to be able to uh, build the, um, uh, the 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 tier 2 um, what do you say what do you call it again the tier 2 uh, extractor that you need Let's put some of this stuff away. I don't need all this. I need. I already have. S okay, that's good. Let's grab six of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. All up. Good. Let's go build another drill. Let's put you somewhere there. Beautiful. Grab another bit of super alloy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Excellent. So now we have four of these drills working um, on a continuous basis, pumping out a whole bunch of oxygen in, or gases into the atmosphere. Do we have any more water? Yes, we do. <laughs> oh. hmm. Whoa. Okay, so what are these guys dropping? Let's go check it out. I see aluminium. Ah! Well, that's nice. Do you mind stopping standing still? <laughs> it's gonna get smaller and smaller. They dropped a whole bunch of aluminum and iron. Okay, iron. Let's I hear explosions, but I don't see them. Hmm. We're under attack. <laughs> so this one. Oh, well, that was close. This one dropped some silicon. Whoa, it hit my. Uh my base. Alright, okay, cool. Let's see. Do, do we have anything else? Do we have any food here? I do. So grab that. Let's also grab some water. I still have a whole bunch of osmium. Um, but I think that we don't have enough super ally. No, we do not. Let's put this stuff away. I don't need to carry all this. So we're going to go and explore the further regions here. Ooh, actually, um, no, we're gonna leave out, stay out of there for now. Let's go explore and go check out another cave. There's a, I wanna go check out this, um, this derelict, this crash site over here. See what we have in, in this, uh, this ship. And then we'll go check out the mines over there. <clears throat> now, the, there's a ship, or a satellite, I'm not entirely sure if you would call it a ship. It looks more like a satellite. Um, just, right around here just under this, this beyond this dip this looks like a communication satellite right yeah so open wreck and look at that we got a whole bunch of materials beautiful let's grab all of that it's a little bit too bad that that's all it gives you <laughs> it's not much but it'll do and then we have a dip over or a hole in the ground over there. If my memory serves me, the 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 mine over here should be released as well. Should be available. Yes, 
Okay, so we got some osmium over here. We have space for six osmium. I know it's not much, but it will have to do. Excellent. Grab that. So there, we got another additional drill that we can build. Inventory full. All right, so now let's drop some stuff that we don't need. We can ha I have a ton of uh, this material that I don't need to get from you. Yeah, what do you have in here? So nothing. Oh, yeah, I'll take that one. That's for sure. And I'll take that. That's very important. Everything else. Oh, yeah, wait, this is not important either. So I'll, I'll take that one. And everything else you can keep. Now let's go grab another bottle of oxygen. Let's go back. So now we have one, two super alloy. Actually, we have one more space here. Let's go grab another osmium. So we have one, two, three drills that we can build additionally. We already have four, so that will push us push the number up to seven. And uh, there's still some osmium in this mine. And I think there's another two mines, or at least another one mine to go. I think it's two mines. Two more mines to go before we run out of all the osmium, osmium in the planet. So we should be able to get to ten, ten of these mines, uh, these, these uh, drills. And that will give us uh, four thousand. Um, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just guessing here for a second. <laughs> all right, so it's 459... Uh, pressure, I'm not quite sure what it is, PSI something, per second. If we have 10 of those, we get 4,000 PSI per second. That's, that's quite nice. That w I would like that. That will get us to... Oh, no chest over here. What do we have in here? We have one of you. I don't need, per se, this aluminium. Oh, actually, I don't need a squash. I need that one. <laughs> so now we have... Three. We've got, we've got that already set up. Beautiful. We have some aluminium here as well. So we could potentially make two more, at least, um, super alloys on this side of the, uh, of the map. Do I have an, expand, uh, an advanced crafting table in this base? I don't think so. We, we might have to build one. Let's check it out. Do I have one here? I do not. I do not. How's, it, how's this going? Okay, you're almost done. You're at 85%. Beautiful. So we got you. Let's go deposit you as much of you guys as possible. Bam. So we got two of those. And we need one more. And then we can build one more drill. So we got a ton of osmium here. That's good. I like that. So two, two, one. So we need some to make that. What do we need for this advanced crafting table? We need three aluminium, which we got. Um, two uh, titanium, one, two. And then two magnesium, one, two. And then it's two silicon. All right, no worries. We got that, I think. One, two. Beautiful. Let's go put this in a corner somewhere and then forget about it. <laughs> uh, like like right so try and try and even it out a little bit okay. all right so now we need to make a super alloy that takes cobalt which we should have we need one of you 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 and one of you beautiful so now we got six we can make one more drill yes ah good day good day I'm gonna eat something though. Let's go make one more drill. Add that to your buddies list. Yes. One, two, three. We can make a whole bunch of these. So now we will have five of these guys. Just... Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, that was to be expected. All right. So how much titanium do we actually? I mean, how much? Um, we have one uranium rod here. I'm kind of curious as to how much do we need. Nuclear reactor tier two requires two more uranium rods, a super alloy, and explosive powder. Do I have any explosive powder here? I'm looking. For explosive powder, you need two of these sulfur items and one iridium. 
I'll leave the iridium rods here for now because we'll leave them. We need them later on. Let's uh, grab all the uranium that we have stashed away over here. One, sorry, four, and let's head on back. So I said, let's me drink first. Let's head on back to the main facility, which is of course right behind this big ass rock here. Try and climb it. So we can build one more nuclear, one more V2 nuclear reactor. V2. <laughs> uh, the Germans will like it. The V2 bomber. There you go. Some more cobalt. For some reason it's just stashed here. Okay. Now, I wish I had a uranium mine, but I just I don't have it at the moment. It would be cool. Now with that done, so let's see, where do we have all of the uranium stashed? I think that we have some uranium in this base over here, and then the rest of it should be in that base over there. I'm not quite sure entirely if we have enough to build a level 2 um, nuclear reactor at the moment. We, need to, we might need to demolish one of these tier 1 uh, nuclear reactors to get another nuclear reactor rod. If you can get one more rod, that'll be nice. So get through here. Do -do -do. Let's see. We'll, we'll get food in here. I don't need food. <laughs> um, so, do we have any uranium here? We do. One, two. Oh, we got two rods here. That's good. But we don't need to use this uranium then. Yay, we got enough. And we got explosive powder. Oh. So, we are pretty much set. We just need three. Uh, super alloy and then we can get started on that so we need some uh, so we need one two wait, so it doesn't take two or does it take three it takes three yeah so we need three um three blocks of u three iron and three titanium so three iron three silicon oh that's not silicon there we go and three cobalt one Two, three, and then some magnesium. Three, I mean, three magnesium. Do we have any magnesium? I don't have any magnesium. <laughs> Where's all my magnesium got to? Uh. Oh, there we go. There we. There, I see. I see some magnesium right here. Let's grab that. That's just one. Let's, I, I can make a single super alloy now. And then we will have space for some more. Yeah. So we need a lot of the super alloy. The problem is you can't really drill for it. I don't think you can actually drill for it. There's no place where you can actually add a drill to drill for uranium. I mean for super alloy. I wish it was possible. I wish you could get that with the, the tier 1 drill. That would be so much easier than you don't have to do all this this constant uh, to and fro just to find enough materials. I mean, it's not a big deal. That's what we have those three extractors for over there for. They just basically just, every single time they extract something from the ground, that is a, um, that is a bonafide super alloy right there for you. Every single extraction will come out with, uh, with some aluminium. And pretty much we had a constant supply of, uh, of super alloys there. But we've already used a lot of super alloys building those drills. So it doesn't surprise me that we kind of ran out of power. Let's go put this. I need one more super alloy. Good. We got everything. And I got one, two, three, four iron. No, I need more iron. One, two, three, four, five. No, stop doing that. Okay, there and that one. Perfect. All right, let us go to our little tier two island in the middle of the lake. So a little tier two island that we're building or expanding over there is where we want all of our uh, all of our nuclear reactors to be housed. You can see the little kind of a platform in the middle of nowhere. 
That's where we want to put our second building. I don't see the tier two. Do we have a tier two? Uh, all the we, we do. We do. So we currently have tier three or tier one. Uh, algae, de algae generators, and we need to have. Oh, we only have two here. We need to get a little bit more for this. So you there, and you there. Gorgeous. Build some more. Just expand this massive um, pad out a bit more. Okay, there we go. So get this nuclear reactor level two built. So I want it close by to close to that one as well. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can I turn this around? Okay, it's too close to that thing. There we go. Beautiful. All right, that's our tier two reactor. Oh, do I do I have enough materials to make one of these? I need magnesium. Let's go jump in the water. Boom. Grab some magnesium. Uh, where where are you? Where are you? You're not magnesium. I'm not looking for you. The silicon. No, I'm looking for magnesium. Uh, maybe here. Here we go. All right, back up again. I always have this feeling that we're uh, slowly drowning, but <laughs> we are actually in a uh, in a spacesuit, so that'll be it'll be very strange if we were drowning. <laughs> All right, so nice, we got ourselves a nice little pad here with some lighting. Let's go build another one over in the corner here. Look at that, look at that. Alright, now with that set up, we actually have everything we need um, to continue to move on with the MTI. So we'll, I'll build some more of these tier 4 drills uh, off camera so that we can progress in the game. And in the next episode, we'll get started with building some of these um, algae farms, algae generators level 2. To replace the level ones, but well, we won't replace the level ones. But we'll just build, build this next to them, because they don't they don't take much. I think they take uh, just more normal. Okay, we uh, the bioplastic. Bioplastic is what they take, and the super alloys. They're also quite expensive. <laughs> so I'll build a whole bunch of super alloys uh, nodes and a bunch more bioplastic. I think we have already like six bioplastic at the moment, so that should be fine. Go back in here. Okay, excellent. All right, so for the bioplastic, to be able to make bioplastic, we need to go to the biolab here. And this basically takes a mushrooms. Now, the good thing about it is we have been cultivating a whole bunch of mushrooms. Look at this. We've got one, two, sorry, three. <laughs> this is not a whole bunch of mushrooms. But luckily, we do have some mushroom sacks or seeds in the other base by the gate that we can use. And, uh, and then we can, exp we can we can expand this, this area here. We have some more mushrooms already grown up here. I have to harvest all this stuff though. Hmm. All right, well, let's just get started on that. In the next episode, we will see how far we get with uh, the bioplastic generation and see how far we are going with the mo the pressure. Because the pressure right now isn't increasing as fast as I would like. Because you have, uh, I think that's nano Kelvin? No, that's not nano. Nano is with, okay. Uh, micro Kelvin. Micro Kelvin? No. Is it micro? I don't know. <laughs> it's the, the UK. Is, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna look up what it, what it means. All right, and then we'll try and get the pressure to go back up again. So we'll be building a whole bunch of these tier four tier four drills. If you can't build the tier four drills yet, just build as many of these tier threes as you can. Just as many of these ones as you can. They also bring out a lot of pressure. It was only 17 per second, but having a hundred of these um, is equivalent. Well, having <laughs> So having 10 of these is equivalent to having eh, maybe a quarter of this one. <laughs> it's not very efficient making these, but they're not, they're not that expensive. They're pretty cheap. So they only take iron, titanium, and aluminium. Uh, and if you have enough drills out in the aluminium, uh, oop, aluminium mines, uh, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever uh, getting that. 
And we got some more uranium and a rocket engine here. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, that's it for me for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, it's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.